Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn the slide solo to Freebird. So this is probably the most famous slide part ever written. But it's basically just three different distinct parts. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to break the intro down and then the verse and then uh, basically the little uh, pre-chorus section I would call it. Uh, and now within those he'll do slightly different things each time and I'll show you how to do some variations like he does um, but it's more like the framework of what he's doing the melody so it's pretty consistent between those three parts with some slight variations uh, so we're not trying to nail it note for note every single place it's a lot easier to just know the song well focus on these three parts and you'll be able to do those same variations he does if you know the song well enough Alright, so let's start here with this first phrase. Now, before we get into this, we did this whole Freebird lesson of all the chords and the whole guitar solo, epic lesson series here. This guitar is going to be in a different tuning. This slide guitar part is basically a standard tuned guitar, except the second string, the B string, is tuned down to a G. So what that enables is, is now for between the third and the second string, sound like one big note. It's, a, it's an, a nice way of basically playing one note but doubling it and making it sound a little bit fatter. So it, make, it sounds a little bit bigger because both of those strings are tuned to the exact same pitch of G. Alright, so tune your B string down to G and here's the first phrase. All right, so we're going to start here at the very big first time you hear the slide. We're going to come in. This part is basically played, the part that's played the intro is played twice throughout the song. Um, so you're, the first time you're going to hear it, it starts here with the slide across that G and the B string here. Obviously, they're just G and G here, but I'm going to call them G and B, so it won't be too confusing. Pick those two strings. We're doing finger style here, so we can mute the other strings around it. And we're going to pick the 7 on the G and the B. and slide it up to the 12th fret. All right. And by the way, most of the melodies happen here on the G and the B string together. Now we're going to go back to the 11th fret and slide back to the 12. So we have this. And then back to 11. Then back to 12. And then pick 12, and we're going to do a, a lot of sliding here. We're going to go from 12, 11, to 9, 7, back to 9. So we have this. And then back up to 11, and then slide 7 to 9. So we have this. Now I'll try to mute those strings. I wasn't doing it there. And then... All right, so this whole thing can be just pick the 12 and then slide everything else until you get to this. All right, next phrase. All right, so we're basically here. So I'm going to pick this, now in this, you can slide it down two frets to the seven, nine to seven, and then pick the nine on the D string, just with your thumb, and then pick it again, and slide it up to the 10th fret on the D string. All right, now that we're at the 10th fret, we're going to pick the uh, B and G string together at the 10th fret. And slide it down one fret and then grab the 10 on the D and the A. So those are pretty much the only sections he's really kind of moving away from the G and the B string. So we have this. One more time. All 
right, and then we're gonna pick it up here. One more on the D string. Just the fifth fret there. And then we have this. That's fourth fret on the B and the G, then five, then seven. Slide it down to six, and then back to seven. All right, now he does a different ending here uh, a lot of times. Now this first ending you're gonna hear, he's gonna go all the way up to the 19th fret on the B and the G, and slide down to the 17th fret. And then grab the 19 on the D. And then we're gonna do a quick little, and that's basically picking the 19, slide down a half step and back up to 19. All right, then we start the melody over again, back to the 12, and this second time through is a little bit different. So right there, we just slide to 12, and 11, 12, to 11, up to 12, and then when you do this, instead of going all that, you just go 12, 11, 9. And then that same ending. And this time he just kind of hangs out around the 7th and 6th fret. Instead of going up to the 19th fret. So that's just... Alright, so he pretty much plays that a couple times through. And when you hear that, um, that's what's going on. You're going to be either doing these little endings down here or up here at the 19th to point, you know, sliding down to the 17th fret. All right, from there we have when the vocals actually come in the verse, and that sounds like this. Alright, so that ending I just did there varies every time, but that melody pretty, stays pretty consistent. So it's pretty much sliding into the 12 to start it, letting it ring, and then the 7th fret, and a slow slide up to the 9th fret. So on the B and uh, the G string. Then that same lick we did before. All right, and now we're not gonna do that lick at the 10th fret. We're just gonna skip right down to the ending of the intro, pretty much. Now he slides into that fifth fret there on the D first. And here during the, the ending is really where he mixes it up. He'll do the one off the octave. You hear that sometimes? Sliding up the, G, uh, the high E string. Well, or he just he'll just mess around here and take it back to start over. So he's just being a little bit more subdued here. Now the only other part here uh, could be the pre-chorus type section. Um, this and it's the, this bird you cannot change part where he just kind of re keeps repeating that line and for that we go to the 10th fret all right so that's pretty much the 10th fret here on the G and the B Whenever you hear him singing this line. And then that same lick that we did off that 10th fret over goes to the D and the A string on the 10th fret there uh, in the intro. And the same ending. And just do whatever ending you want. And 
And that last time he does it, he'll do some of that back and forth between seven and six uh, when we're leading into the uh, uh, the faster section when that uh, real long guitar solo comes in. All right, so that pretty much takes care of all the guitar parts for Freebird. It's a uh, it's a long one. It's going to take you a while to probably get all the notes down, but this slide part is not that um, involved. It's 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 a simple melody based around those two, just basically one note that's doubled across two strings. And if you can sing that melody um, and know it well, just you can follow along the song well, you can uh, pretty easily recreate all these slide parts. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.